Hi, I'm just going to give you a quick demo on how to download this article and then do the annotations in it. So first of all, we can click on here. If you click on that, you can view it and you can see that I started some example annotations in here, but you don't have any of the tools to actually annotate. You can also hit the download button, download the article, and I can click here and I can view the article but I still don't have any tools. I can zoom out and zoom in, but I don't actually have the tools to annotate. So how we do that is we need to open this document in a program called Preview. So you're going to go to your Finder, and then in Finder, go to your Downloads, and then you should have that article as the most recent thing that's in there. You may have to get your date modified uh, updated and then whatever the most recent thing is that you downloaded will be at the top. So now I'm going to click on this and you want to take two fingers on your trackpad or right click. Two fingers on the trackpad and then click will allow you to open uh, this document and you're going to click open with why are you fetching? What are you fetching? open with, there it is, open with preview. And so now I have some tools up here that will allow me to annotate this document. This first one up here that's grayed out that I'm hovering over is the highlighter. And so if you click on that, now you can highlight things like that. If I highlighted something that I didn't mean to highlight, I'm going to hit the command key, hold the command key and then hit Z. The command key is the one that has the little squiggle in the corner. And I can actually change my highlighter color as well. Yellow, pink, blue, purple, whatever you prefer. It doesn't matter. Again, I'm going to hit command Z to delete what I didn't mean to actually highlight. So what you're supposed to be highlighting in this particular article is any term that you don't know the definition of. So we started reading this article in class and found, okay, there are three main sources of heat in the deep earth, heat from when the planet formed and accreted, which has not yet been lost, frictional heating caused by denser core material sinking to the center of the planet, and then heat from the decay of radioactive elements. So as a class, we decided the two terms that were, we definitely didn't know what accreted meant, and then we had kind of an idea about radioactive, but nobody could really come up with an explanation or define it in their own words. So we looked up both of these terms. And then over here, we entered the definition of those words. And we did this by using a tool that you're going to find in this box here. This is the markup toolbar. If you click on that, that shows all of these items. I can hide that by just clicking that again. So here we go. Now, if I click on this button here, this first, the very first one, that just allows me to highlight things if I like wanted to copy and paste them or something. And that will come in handy later when I show you how to use the text-to-speech tool. I can also use this tool that's the drawing tool. So you can draw things if you want to change that into something else you can. It seems to do this automatic thing where if you draw something that's like pretty close to a circle, it will automatically turn it into a circle, and then you can switch it back to that. Um, in any case, I don't need that item, so I'm just going to delete it, and I'm going to delete that star as well, because I don't really need those, but if you want to draw on it, this is the tool to do that. This is the tool that will allow you to insert text. So when I clicked that T, this box appeared right here in the center of the screen. And I think it's kind of annoying that it appears right in the center, but that's where it appears. So right now it just gives you some basic text and then you can type in whatever you want, uh, like the definition of a term. So go to Google and look up the term or use your uh, definition or dictionary app that's on your computer. And then when you do that, uh, go ahead and you can click in there. If you click three times, it will select all of the text. And then I'm going to go to this A, and then I can change to whatever, you know, font I want. 
and whatever color I want. And I can make it larger or smaller if I want as well. Bold, italic, underline, align it to the left or to the right, which only really matters if you have more than one line. And then you've got that that you can annotate in the margins. Um, so it, this is a little wide right now, so I'm going to shrink it. And now I've got something that I can fit more easily into the margins by just adjusting those little bars on either side. Then, uh, so on the left side, what I'd like for you to do is to just include the definitions of these words. And you can also do that by creating a sticky note. And you can type the definition in there. And then you can take that sticky note and, oops, wrong thing, Command C. And I can, I need to go back over here and select this button again and I should be able to move it now. There we go. So if you are got one of these tools still on, then you need to go back over here so that you can just select things. So that's one option, which I is kind of nice if you don't want to have to see that note all the time, but if you want the information out visible to you all the time, then using the T to make text I think is going to be the better choice. I'm going to go Command Z to get rid of that item. Oop, there we go. Okay. Now on the right side, what you're going to do is include a summary of the paragraph. So for this first paragraph, which is actually just a really long compound sentence, um, the main idea here is that there's three main sources of heat uh, that heat the deep earth, and those are cre the creation heat from when the planet was formed, friction from the frictional heating and then radioactivity, the radioactive elements. So this is just as few terms, as few words as possible to explain what was stated in that paragraph. And down here, I went ahead and highlighted a couple more terms, but I haven't added the definitions yet, so that's something that you'll need to do is to add those definitions in over here. And then on this side, you're going to add in the summary. And it's up to you if you want to do the stickies or if you want to do the text instead, your choice. So um, down here, we would have definition of convective, conductive, primordial. Um, if you know what conductive means, like conducting electricity or conducting heat, then you don't have to do that one. Um, convective, we discussed as a class and we're a little less sure what convective means, so that would be a good one to define. And no one knew what primordial was, so we looked up that one as well and put the definition in here. And then your summary is just going to explain um, what, what this whole paragraph says in as few words as possible. You don't want to completely miss any of the important parts, so by seeing your summary, you should be able to remember what this whole paragraph was about, essentially. But you don't want to ever have to reread the article. So you'll do that again for the rest of these paragraphs. And some of them, like this next one, is kind of a long paragraph. So if you have maybe a couple little bubbles of text on here to summarize it in two parts instead of just one, that's fine. Whatever is going to make it easiest for you to go back and look at the, the information in here. This paragraph is a little shorter. You can probably get away with just doing one. This one you could probably get away with doing one or two. This is a real long paragraph, so it might take a few more. Now for a big paragraph like this, or in fact for the entire document, um, there's a great tool that you can use that's called text-to-speech. And how that works is I'm going to select all of this text, make sure that your highlighter is turned off, that it's grayed out and it's not blue and make sure that this button is on if you are uh, if your toolbox is on at all. And then you're going to go ahead and you can select this text, click and drag, select that text, and then you can come up here to edit, and then go down to speech, and hit start speaking, and the computer will read you that text. So I'm going to click start speaking. The Earth's core is divided into two separate regions. The liquid outer core and the solid inner core, with the transition between the two lying at a depth of 5,100 
Okay, so, and the person that I have set to read to me has a really weird voice, and I need to figure out how to change it. Yours should hopefully be a little bit easier to understand. I think the default uh, setting for the, the speaker is a little more clear than that person was. So if that's something that you want to use, I think that's a great option, especially for these longer, really scientific articles, um, so that you're you know, th this is a lot of text, so sometimes it's nice to just listen to it, and that's totally appropriate. It's totally fine. You're welcome to use that. Um, and so then just for each paragraph, highlight the terms that you don't know the definition of. Put those in the margins on the left side, and then summary in the margin on the right side. And when you're done, and in, in fact, it's it's a good idea to save as often as you can, if you double click up here, this actually gives you the option to uh, change the title right there. And so I can say, um, I would save it with my last name, Bovis, and um, Earth article. And um, maybe also uh, green to, uh, probably, probably last name, Green to Earth article. And then if you want to save it to a different location, you can do that. So maybe I want to save it to my environmental science folder. And then I'm good. And I can click out of that, and it will automatically update that uh, right up here. And then when you're ready to submit it for grading, close that. And... Uh, make sure that you do hit save. Uh, the command S is a really nice easy shortcut that you can use. Save often so that you don't accidentally lose anything. Then just compose an email back to me and attach that to the email. Last name, block, article and instead of bovis you're putting your own last name not mine and then attach and then you can go find that article and attach it and send and you will be good to go thank you